Riyadu Salaheen. Chapter 137, Greeting One's Wife and Other Women. Sal bin Saad, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, there was a woman among us who would put beetroot in a pot and add to it some ground barley. She used to cook them together. On returning from the Friday prayer, we would greet her and she would offer it to us. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. Riyadu Salaheen. Chapter 137, Greeting One's Wife and Other Women. Um honey, may Allah be pleased with her, the daughter of Abu Talib reported, I went to the Prophet, peace be upon him, on the day of the conquest of Mecca. He was taking a bath and Fatima was screening him with a cloth. I greeted him. And she mentioned the rest of the hadith. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Asma bint Yazid, may Allah be pleased with her, reported, the Prophet, peace be upon him, passed by us when we were with a party of women, and he greeted us. Reported in Abu Dawood. Commentary, the permissibility of men to greet women, and vice versa, is with the condition that there will be no fear of temptation to commit the unlawful. Here are the details. 1. A young woman is forbidden to greet men and to respond to their greeting. 2. A group of women or an old woman are allowed to greet men and to respond to men's greetings. Men are also allowed to greet a group of women or an old woman. 3. A man on his own is not allowed to greet a young woman. 4. A man on his own is allowed to greet a group of women. However, in all these cases, Islamic rules in this regard, including the lowering of the gaze, are to be observed. سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك